Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, as you can see, we're on Scorched Earth, a little bit different than the normal map. Now, in the last video, we actually were able to kind of test out how it all worked, how to get started, how to get situated. Now, I only left off with a tent because, you know, we were just getting started. I didn't want to get stuck in one place for too long, uh, but I found a good spot and this is where we're going to do a little bit of a build. Now, Wood is a little bit more scarce on this map, so I definitely have to run around and gather that. Uh, but I'm going to get started with a build here to start off. Alright, so this is going to be the basic foundation. I'm right up on this cliff here. Uh, this is going to be... It's going to be smaller at the bottom and bigger... Oh, God. Getting stuck in doors. <laughs> and uh, bigger on top. I'm going to throw some cages on this one because... Honestly, there are a lot of aggressive dinosaurs around here. We've got terror birds everywhere. We've got wolves, uh, which is odd to see them around here. Oh, we've got one right over here. Look at them. They all, they're all they everywhere. Oh, did he just run from me? That's, that's weird. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to take care of him because otherwise he's going to attack us later. I wonder if I can knock him out. If he's a low-level one, I might be able to. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, so... We, we're probably gonna get some dire wolves going here now. I've seen a lot of these uh, There's a lot of saber-tooth around so there are a lot of dangerous Animals and dinosaurs all over the place. So you got to be really careful But the main reason behind the cages is gonna be to protect our everything from those So now we've got a dire wolf so that'll actually help out with some protection over here as you can see I've still got everyone lined up over here the, I guess they must have attacked something over in the corner, but someone said in the comments last time, and I really want to test this out, is on our, can I build a hat? I just need to make a hat. Okay, so if we throw a skin on one of these hats, we can throw it on our monkey, or not our monkey, but what is that thing called? The, the little dude over here. I put him in the tent to protect him, <laughs> so we'll grab him, and we'll throw him on the ground. What is the button for that again? I think they changed the button for this. I thought it used to be a double tap E. What is it? I'm trying everything. Crap. I might have to just pause for a second and figure out this button. What is it? Can I just look it up in the settings? Um, he's still there, right? Oh yeah, he's there. Um, okay. Jeez, I should, oh wait. Double F, okay. It's double off now. All right, so what we got to do is throw this hat on him. Actually, I'm going to throw this one on him. I was going to throw the Nomad hat on, but I think he might... Oh, yeah, that is perfect. Oh, that suits you well. And by the way, he survived. I, in the last video, I said there's no way this level one dude's going to survive. He made it. He just, you know, he's fine in the tent over there. Look at that. We're all set now. I've got my special hat. He's got, like, the, the skin from... I don't know, what was that pre-ordering arc, I think? But anyway, on to what we're going to be doing. Um, besides the build itself, I, I want to figure out how this camel works and how we can kind of use him to get a lot of water to our build. Uh, so I'm going to figure that out as well here. All right, so I'm just... Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> just try to kill some of these bugs so I can get oil because we might as well stock up if they're around. What was that? What the heck? Oh, what are you? Oh god, I've never seen- Oh, this is the thorny little- This is the thorny devil thing. Oh shoot, he shoots spikes. Good thing he's stuck. Seems like he would be- I wonder if they do any damage, like hardcore damage. Will you go down? That would be really cool. You like start with the, um, I believe- I don't know if it's the skin or the actual saddle for one of these things. So they must be- Okay, you get keratin from them. Okay, so these are really good actually. Get a bunch of keratin. It's like killing an Anki, but that was very simple. Okay, so they must not be too crazy ones. It kind of just freaked me out there for a second, uh, getting spikes shot out of me <laughs> for no reason. So I'm I've just been trying to gather as much stuff as I can, fill up my my poor parasaur and my my camel. I'm just gonna call it the camel from now on. But also I found another dire wolf. Check this out. And this one's actually level thirty something. So. It's much better than the little one that we've got over here. I think this one is like a level 8 or something, but they are going to be a mate, mated pair, so that will come in really handy uh, for searching, for, for actually just protecting us. Okay, so we've got our dire wolf tamed up, so he's all set. I've got the other one following me. Oh, what is up with this dude? Um, oh, he's obviously on drugs. Should we leave him? 
I don't know what's up with this guy. He's just floating. Oh! Oh, he's fine now. Oh, okay. Just pop up into the air quick. You guys gather that? Please? You're not gonna gather it? No? Don't care? Alright. Well, anyway, uh, having, as you can see, uh, just a couple bites into that guy and he was done. So having the mate boosted pair of dire wolves, like, this early off in the game is really useful. Because these guys honestly can tear through any of the lower level creatures, like saber tooths and raptors and all that kind of stuff. Don't have to worry about them anymore. So basically, I'm just going to use them to fu- oh. Really useful. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming. He's trying to come over here. Alright, but anyway, I got a saddle for this guy as well, because the uh, dire wolves can gather tons of hide for me. And, uh, odd thing about these, you're gonna notice this as I'm riding it, when they eat and walk, they can't do the, they can't do those two things at the same time. These guys are horrible multitaskers. But you'll notice when he eats, it may, it'll make the eating noise, and it'll just kind of slide. He won't, the animations don't work together. I don't know what's up. So I'm gonna have them follow me. They're gonna protect him. And then we're gonna find some water. So there should be some water over here somewhere. Oh, dire wolf, kill him. Yeah, not even a problem. Hey, there's another one. Kill him. Get him. <laughs> all right, and I, I'm just gonna basically probably have to buff health on all of these until they're up well over probably 2k health because there's a lot of stuff that can kill my uh, dinosaurs really easily, easily. So what do we do here? We throw them. Are you drinking? Oh, he is drinking. Oh, that's cool. All right, so he just fills it up by just you just park him right in the water and he's just gonna drink it. That is really cool. Didn't even have to do anything. He, he looks so happy when he's drinking too. This is this is such a cool oasis, by the way. I was gonna build over here, but I feel like if we build on the water in the easy zone. I feel like that's just a little bit, taking it a little bit too easy. I want to eventually move out into the hard areas, but uh, this is just going to be the starter build over on this spot. So we've got a bunch of options here, such as fill inventory, uh, water jars. We've got fill a water reservoir. I'm not sure how the water reservoir wor works, uh, but I'm going to fill up these water skins so that we're all set on that, and then let's head back. Now, see, look at he just He just kind of slid <laughs> while he was eating. It's weird. Anyway, let's get up here. I'm actually going to grab uh, all these trees down here because they're, I've run out of trees in my area and I, I need to import them in now. Okay, so build has gotten progressed. It's definitely progressed. So this guy's hanging out up here. This is probably going to be where he stays. It's right inside this build. I'm never going to take him out because... He'll probably die. I, I They do warn you of the storms, though, which is really cool. He'll just start going, uh, like, flipping out. Let's grab the bed. I forgot that was in the chest over here. I don't have any decorations or storage or anything, but I do have the basics of the build going because I'm, I'm not high enough for a smithy. I need to be 25, and I'm, like, two levels away. So just saving up for that so I can start building, you know, advanced stuff. But... This guy's been super helpful. You can just drink water right from him, and it's it's really nice. So anyway, the build is... I got I went a little crazy, I think, with it, but I really like it. So I'm going to throw him up here. I've got dino parking up top because, you know, it's real dangerous. And basically, if I leave them down on the ground, something's going to attack them. And then we've also got just kind of a little, little walkway up here, but the door to this upper part is behind me. As you can see... It's pretty big, right on the cliff. I'm going to extend it out quite a bit more. And I haven't built with wood in quite a while. And it, I don't know, it looks alright. I need to get into the adobe here, prob hopefully at the end of the episode. So, anyway, we've got a little bedroom. I need to throw windows up here because it's just real musty. We need some airflow. Anyway, uh, we'll throw the bed down. And then we've got two entrances. One th there, and well, actually three, but these I'm going to count these ones as one because this one doesn't even have a door on it yet. But anyway, uh, we've got some cages down here. I'll throw, oh, let's throw you down in here. This will be the Jerboa hangout. You know what? You actually probably deserve a name, huh? What, what, maybe I should name this thing. Uh, of course, now I can't think of anything. What does he look like? He's got the hat. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Mike? Yes. Yeah, you look like a Mike. Perfect. Alright, now anyway, we'll just kind of leave him in here for now. But 
what I really do need to work on is we need to get a water reservoir, like one of the tanks up top on the build, because I want to be able to fill that up. It's just, you can't fill it up with rain or anything, and you can't really irrigate it either. So up top, right by where he is parked, where our camel's parked, I'm going to throw a water reservoir so that we can start filling that up with water so I don't have to keep walking him back and forth to the oasis. Alright, so just getting us some meat going. And then I've got our water reservoir. So I did have to kill a few bugs, get some cementing paste going because you need cementing paste to build the, the tank. So up here, I've thrown it right onto it. Remember, you got to put a pipe down first. So I threw a pipe down and then water reservoir on top. And then over here, I've thrown our pipe where we'll have our little tap and kind of like this little bedroom area, I guess. But... <laughs> you know just it's been a struggle with water like it really has and that's kind of like the driving force in scorched earth is is trying to get water so let's see here there was a fill water tank with inventory or from inventory does this work did it fill it what do i have to do stick a pipe into him <laughs> i don't know maybe we'll just park him right on top of it all right fill water tank is there something is there like a is there some kind of a other water tank that you can put into their inventory i don't understand okay so i need to figure this out how are we going to be able to fill these up let me grab some more water skins and i'll see if i can just transfer it over okay so i grabbed some water skins and i'm just going to throw them into here and can i like remote oh let's go into his inventory and it should say fill water okay Fill inventory water containers. Perfect. And there we go. Alright, so we put all of his water into these, and then I should be able to put them into here. And remote use them. Yes! Alright. So I can't actually fill this up. Now, I need to maybe throw maybe like four or five more of these into somewhere. I don't want to put them on this roof. We'll put them somewhere else. But then we can fill up a bunch of them all at once and not have to worry about it. So that's all set that's how you got to do how that's i guess that's how you got to fill up the water tanks because it's set i, I don't really understand how it would be in his, how do you put the water and take into his inventory unless you like jab him with a, a pipe or something i don't understand okay maybe that's not working uh but now what we got to do is i do want to test out the adobe i'm not actually going to build with it but we got our basic structure made of wood and i think adobe is the next one i want to kind of try do a little build with but I'm just going to figure out how to actually make that here, and then we'll get into that in the next video. Okay, so I've got the resources that we're going to need. So basically what we need to do is you got to make clay first. So to make clay, you need your cactus pieces and sand. So you're mixing cactus and sand to make a wall, I guess. All right, but anyway, it takes some wooden stuff as well, so it's not just that. So here it is. Uh, it takes wood, thatch, fiber, and clay. So we're making our clay here. It seems to be a really cheap resource to make, and so that's where we're going to stop for today. Now, I'm going to be doing the building on the adobe stuff here. I'll, I'll probably attach it onto this building and kind of incorporate it all in, uh, but this is a good spot to leave off. I really like where the base came out to. Uh, we don't have to worry about water anymore, which is really nice, but if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.